Hey guys, if you're looking for a boot that's uh, more of an inexpensive boot, not in the higher end stuff, not with your exotics or nothing, but something that's just absolutely comfortable, something you can wear all day, all night, and it could be a work boot, uh, it could be just a looking pretty cool boot, but not a dressy boot. Uh, I've got the boots for you, they're my favorite boots, and uh, we're gonna get into it. Hey guys, Bobby Boots here, back for my uh, second video. Ignore the mess because uh, we are moving to Texas and we are getting ready for that and boxing things up. And so uh, things are a disaster right here, um, right now. Um, but I'm so excited about this video because uh, we are finally gonna get to boots. I talked about uh, socks in my first video, even though this is mainly a boots channel. Um, but today we're getting to boots and we're getting to my favorite boots. These boots are awesome. I love these and mainly because of the comfort and the look. Uh, these are not 600, $700 boots. These are low 100s. I don't remember what I paid for them or where I even got them. Might have been Amazon, might have been Sportsman's Guide, I don't know. But they were probably, if I recall correctly, uh, 130. And if you look at other boots um, in their lines, um, I'm assuming that's probably about where these are at. But this is Ariat. I don't recall uh, exact model name for these, um, but it is more of a Roper style um, boot. And by what I can tell, I'm not sure, but I don't believe they even offer these boots anymore, but they do have a couple boots that are very similar. Um, and I'll discuss those in a little bit. Uh, these are muddy, because uh, I was just out walking and, uh, with these and um, it's been uh, rainy around here, so we got some mud. Um, so you'll see some grime on these, but let's get into this boot. This is more of a, a roper style boot. Uh, it does have the lower heel. This is uh, gonna be about a uh, one and three eighths heel, which is going to give you some more comfort when you're walking uh, without your heel uh, up so high and putting that extra strain on your in your calf muscle. While we're at that with the 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 outsole, uh, this is what they call their oil resisting, slip resisting um, sole. If you can see that, um, it has extra traction. So this is really more of a uh, of a work boot um, and. Uh, you can see it's held up and I've had these for a couple years and I use these a lot. I mean a lot I, I just wear these all the time because they're my favorites um, But those are holding up really well and just the overall boot. I don't really see anything that's um, You know wearing away giving away uh, I See just a little bit of a edge wear on the back of that heel, which is gonna be normal um, But as much as I wear these things that that is really good now why I bought these boots was because I wanted a brown boot and I wanted a leather that um, looked a little bit more, I, I didn't want some flashy, dressy, you know, I didn't want any shiny leather. And um, that's why I picked this one because it had almost more of a, this has really changed over, over the time that I've had these because I've applied some homemade conditioning, waterproofing to them. Um, and with some buffing on that, it's brought out a little bit more shine in these. Um, but it had on it wasn't a suede obviously, but it more of that softer uh, type of leather look um, To them most of the time until I started using that um, But one of the big differences with these uh, it is is uh, the shorter shaft. This is uh, about a 10 inch um, boot here And so for, for you guys that don't like that that tall shaft where it comes up really high on your leg uh, This can be a good boot for you uh, and on the shaft here as well. This is uh, extremely soft and um supple leather in um, adding to that comfort and just really hardly noticing these boots are on when you wear them um, all day all night sleeping them I can wear these forever and still be perfectly content um, but with this um, you can wear pretty much wear any jeans you want if you're a skinny jeans kind of guy I am not um, these would even work for that because it just folds up around your leg and takes all that out of there um, so you can wear these with anything and not see um, you know, the, the, the top of the boot, um, showing through your jeans because of them being too tight or whatever. Um, so they're just going to give away. Um, but <clears throat> that adds to the comfort. Uh, but along with that, they have a different type of look on here with the, the stitching. Uh, this is not a piping. Uh, this is where they, br they bring the two of the leathers together where they, they come out and then stitched, uh, gives a different look than most boots. Um, but it's kind of a cool look. Um, wasn't sure if I was gonna like it at first, but they do that on the on the the front and back and the, the sides both sides um, On the inside you can see we uh, and I'll probably show another shot of that um, But it's, it's a suede leather 
and that goes down the whole shaft but then once you get down in to the rest of the boot and the vamp and all that um, it, I'm not sure what it is but it is different um, type it looks like some type of leather um, back through here to the side and then something else up and through here that I'm not sure um, what it is and uh, by the way these are eight and a half if you're wondering and they are D's um, this is a made in China boot I so wish that uh, Ariat uh, could change that. Um, being made in America would be fantastic, especially being a cowboy boot. All cowboy boots um, would be great if they were made in America. But I know Mexico, uh, Leon, Mexico makes um, fantastic boots as well. Um, and just because it's made somewhere else doesn't mean the, the quality is less. It's just the, the concept there. But um, but uh, they're a fantastic boot. Um, and then the insole, um, which most of you should know if you're familiar with area it's not a leather insole and it is a removable insole and this is the 4LR um, which is area you know they just got the comfort down they they've got it to a science they know how to make a extremely comfortable insole um, it's got some type of foam on the, on, on the back um, and where a leather one um, is going to form to the shape of your foot over time uh, adding even more comfort the more the, that you wear them. Uh, I have noticed on these, and I don't know if you can see it on these, these are still got me, but you can actually see where my toes um, go. There is somewhat of a, a, a dimple dent there to where they are forming to my foot. Um, so I think they'll just continue to get more comfortable as well uh, and form even uh, more. So what else here on these boots? So the it is not, uh, well, I'll put that in later time-wise. Um, this is not a good year. Uh, welt on here. This is um, fake. It's just to give you the look of that's actually being um, stitched. It's supposed to have the look of a double stitch there. Um, but this is uh, a cemented on adhesive um, type of sole. It is not um, leather. Uh, you can see somewhat of a stacking look to it, but it's not actual leather um, stacked on there. Now, some of the other boots um that area is still is offering i can find on uh looking on sportsman's guides i see area has a what they call the men's rambler western boot which is very similar uh look very very similar look um but the big difference i would say would be on the toe uh it's a square toe but it's that flat hard edge almost more like a biker's boot um, versus this this uh, flatter curved down rounded um toe and then I also see on area site they have what they're calling the Hybrid Street Side Western Boot, uh, which looks very, very, very similar. Um, I would say one of the big differences, the main differences that you're going to see is in um, the heel, where uh, has more of a stacked look with the, the different colors, where you go from light to dark to light to dark, um, that type of look as well. <clears throat> Those also... Um, well, no, those are about $170 boot, which I'm sure I didn't pay that much for these. When it comes to comfort, um, these boots are fantastic. I think they have a fantastic look, and I hope this channel um, and this review helps you when you're deciding on uh, your next pair of boots. I hope you're, uh, if you're watching this, you're an enthusiast like I am to where you just can't get enough of these things and uh, any boots, and you love the, the look that it brings to you, um, the feel that it brings to you. Uh, when you're wearing your boots and that you'll subscribe to this channel uh, hit that notification button that way you'll know when i put up another one i'm going to try to do this every week but we'll see what happens uh, especially with this move uh, i might hold up things as we're getting things ready around the house here uh, but you come back you'll find out um, some information on some boots that will make you um, a wiser purchaser when you go get your next pair um, or maybe you just like to look at boots uh, as well as i do uh, but thanks for joining us today. Uh, again, this is Bobby Boots, and love those boots.